The execution of death row inmates earlier this year prompted strong international condemnation of the new government. But President Joko Widodo was undeterred and said there would be no clemency for any drug convicts on death row. Three months after Jokowi took office, the first wave of death row inmates met the firing squad on January 18th. Five drug convicts were executed on Nusa Kambangan Prison Island in central Java, another at Boyalali Prison. The five Nusa Kambangan convicts were Brazilian Archer Cardoso, Malawian Namauna Dennis, a Nigerian man Daniel Enamuo, Dutchman Ankiam Soy and Indonesian Rani Andriani. Eight drug convicts were killed in a second wave of executions in April. Indonesian Zainal Abedin, Brazilian Rodrigo Gulate, Australians Andrew Chan and Myron Sukumaran, and Nigerians Martin Anderson, Rahim Agbaje, Sylvester Obikwe Nwalise and Okwudili Oyatanze. President Jokowi was unmoved, despite international pleas for clemency. <laughs> segera diputuskan. Saya sampaikan, memang belum sampai di meja saya, tapi sudah muter di sana. Begitu masuk ke meja saya, sudah saya sampaikan, tidak ada yang saya beri pengampunan untuk narkoba. In protest, the Netherlands, Brazil and Australia recalled their ambassadors following the executions.